Okay, so I'm going to show you a demo here. I'm connecting to the EV3 and using the EV new BrickCC screen capture tool for the EV3. It's changed a little bit since you've seen it last. So let me show you how this works now. Okay, so we'll go to Tools, select Screen Capture, bring it onto the screen so we can see here. I'm going to go ahead and look at some of the options. Brick screen. You can still change the P brick name. Set your preferences. You see here. And you can pull once or pull repeatedly. So you can see there's the screen. If you click the right button, I right click pull now. Oh look, it changed. I'll turn on pulling with a refresh rate of one second. And then we'll click the right button, right button, click down, 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 click enter, down, 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 down. As you can see, as you click the buttons, if you could hear it, you would hear a click as you click the buttons as well. <coughs> I'm going to exit pulling just for a second to fix this issue. And pull now. And turn back on pulling. It looked like it got stuck there while I was in the... Are you sure you want to log off state? So I'm not sure what went wrong there. I'm going to connect some sensors here, um, pause the video, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm connecting some sensors here. The very first one will be the temperature sensor. As you can see, it's showing temperature. I'll click the enter button, bring up the modes available for the temperature sensor switch to Fahrenheit and see if we can raise the temperature a bit I'm going to connect some other sensors here as well I've got the EV3 ultrasonic sensor connected on port B I'm going to connect medium motor one thing that I've noticed is that these were applications that are running on the brick can interfere with the ability to control things using tools like the direct controller it read the sensor values right you can see an NXT temperature sensor and EV3 ultrasonic but it's not moving the motor like it should have on port A I think it's because of the way that the on brick application is in is using that particular port so it's a puzzle. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the motor and get some other sensors. And I'm going to connect them to the other ports. Just give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and close the direct controller and bring it back up. It doesn't have a refresh button on it. So you can see I've connected four sensors. The third is the NXT color sensor on port 3. I'm going to change its mode to 3, which happens to be green LED. But with, the, with this program running, it chooses whichever mode it wants as well. So we have the distance mode of the ultrasonic sensor running as you can see here I'm moving the sensor around to get different distances I 
I keep trying to click on the screen for some reason, but no, you can't do that. You can click on the buttons, but not on the screen. So here's the NXT color sensor, which by default is in reflective light mode, which is with the red LED on. But you can click on the center button and switch to ambient, which turns off the LED. If I point it up at my light, it goes high. I switch to green. That will turn on the green LED, and we can measure some reflective light with the green LED. So the nice thing is it does appear that with the EV3 firmware, clicking buttons in the remote tool does interact properly with the running application, as you can see. The IR proximity sensor is showing infrared from my laptop screen. I'll go ahead and close the direct controller. I'm going to go turn or select the remote and then I'm going to get out my IR remote. See if we can. Get that to show some different button presses here. Just give me a second, I have to find the right one. The one that has batteries in it. Which shouldn't take too long, but I have to dig through my bag of sensors. There you go. So that's button 9, which is the big button at the top. And I'll try a different individual buttons up uh, by up and down on the left up and down on the right and then combinations of button presses to see what the different values are on the that the EV3 will see with the IR remote when you press the buttons on the on the IR remote itself so that's cool as you can see, it's showing that my battery level is very low. We get out of that. Motor control. I'm going to go ahead and plug back in a medium motor on port A. Give me just a second to get it back out again and find the cable. Okay. I think I've just about got it here. Okay, so I'll go into motor control. I can switch to the different modes. I press up and down with A. Up. For controlling A forward and down, which I keep trying to click on the screen for some reason. Press the down button to go reverse with motor A. And it's showing that my battery is very, very low, so hopefully it doesn't die on me. I go ahead and bring up a joystick tool. Again, this is the case where it. it it does not work very well together with the onboard application. So I started the motor running forward and it didn't stop when I tried to stop it. I'm going to go back over here and exit out of the motor control and the motor stopped. So that's interesting. It's because the running application is constantly sending it commands as well. That's the onboard data logging application which I don't know much about. You can configure it, I think, with the gear there, or with the uh, little wrench icon. Let me go back up to the port view with the medium motor connected. I'm going to bring up... I'll check my battery level. It is pretty low. I'll have to replace those pretty quick here. Let me 
go to the remote tool, bring that on screen, and all of the motor control tools currently in Brick CC do have, they're a little glitchy, I'm not sure what's going on exactly, but they don't always immediately switch direction. Sometimes you have to tell it to go reverse a couple of times before it starts going reverse. But as you can see from there, it is controlling the motor. The same thing with the direct controller tool and the joystick tool. It's just... I'm not sure what was going on the very first time I tried this, but it is working. The uh, Definitely the case that the motor controller on work application interferes with these tools. I'm just testing to see if it switches direction like it's supposed to. As you could I think you could tell there it took a little bit of nudging to get it to switch direction. Go ahead and switch it to the rotation mode instead of degrees mode have it continue to reverse its direction switch back to degree mode <clears throat> so there you have it that's pretty cool thank you for watching